get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. I think it's been match great against a different ball game this is. I don't think he realises. He hasn't fought a slick fight like Frankie when he's 100% fit and southpaw as well. At levels, yeah. You know, when Frankie's 150% fit, you'll see the best of him and he is now. Some people are going, this is an easy fight for Gavin. He's going to uh, outbox him, he's going to play with him. Some people are saying Sam's going to get to Gavin late. Tough lads, lo loads of people have got different opinions, which is good. Because they're the fights what everyone talks about. First walked into a gym when I was about just just the week before my 12th birthday, I think it was, or the week after. And uh local Gabby Stowe, a local lad from the area, our age, known as a little bit of a tear away, good fight. And straight away they went, spa, we had a tear away. I didn't know who he was before the spa. Probably if I did know that, I probably wouldn't have got in there like we had a good spa, real tear up. Everyone in the gym was standing standing the face and, and it was weird because that was on the Monday and I boxed the next Wednesday. So uh, I don't know any other fighters who've done that really. So I walked into a gym on the Monday, I had my medical on the Friday and boxed the next Wednesday. Then I went on about a 20 fight winning streak, got far in English championships and from then uh, I've always just loved it all, I wanted to be the best. Good. Right, left hand body, yeah, off the fight, beginning. Good, and again, chin down. And again. Good, come back with the right hook. I was a forklift driver, six till six, in a steel factory. I got made redundant. But luckily enough, a kid from the, my old amateur boxing gym started with John properly, you know, like turned professional. I'd heard about you know, like journeyman, I suppose, and you know, boxing every week for, for some money. I get a lot of lads who come and say, I want to earn money out of boxing. Even if they've had a few amateurs or a few white collars, they don't understand their tough resources. So right, get your kit on, you're going to do some sparring. Sam went at him. After about four or five rounds, he was tired, but he'd gone really hard. And he got out of the ring, and I just said to him, I said, you're not going to be a journeyman. No, it just won't happen. You've got too much spirit, you fight too hard. I says, nobody will want to fight you on the road. And at the end of it, he was genuinely not happy that he hadn't took him out. And the fans love that. You know, the fans love someone who's willing to risk their own chin to land a good punch on somebody else's chin. Good suit, Tony. That's right. Yeah, you work hard too. Do you like it there, don't they? Do you know why? It's here for one. Yeah, when you're doing that, also, if you've got this coming down here. Is that your grease yeah? Yeah. I enjoy having this for that. <laughs> Jab, left hook, back up to two, yeah? More jabs, and the body shots in there. If you throw in combination, there must be a body shot in there. He's trying to get underneath, yeah? First one back, no matter how much training you do beforehand. Nothing prepares you for it, do you know what I mean? When you use the jab early for the first minute, perfect. And then you start getting into a fight. I think, Griffs. Shit, that was. Trust me, it weren't. There was going to be no boxing today. I was just like, it's my first, first time I've been in the face since the fight. So it was just a bit. It's a bit weird, always coming back for the first fight, you know, coming come to the gym to get punched and hit someone. <laughs> Although you're up for it, like this morning that I was buzzing, you know, first bar back. Less of the hard training sort of thing. But never prepared you for it, man. I'm just it's all right though.
Carl Brook. Frankie never really turned up, did he? You know, he's up for this fight now. It's just the sort of fight he needs. Local derby. You'll, you'll see the real Frankie in this fight. He, he is special. But he won't really book strength, anyway. All his power, it's just his accuracy was really what I thought. He could hit you with most things he threw. I spoke to Khalid from Birmingham. He said, why don't you come and try our gym? So I went there, which is only a mile away from my house. So it's a stone throw, really. And uh, I went up there and I enjoyed it. I just felt I needed a change. Listen, meantime, I'm always close, always will be close. But it's made me the box where I am today. And it's learned me a lot about being a man and stuff like that. You know, maybe he was getting a bit stale. You need to freshen things up a bit, you know? He's in a good place now, isn't he? I want to box for another six years, definitely. I'm feeling great in the gym. I can see every spa I'm getting better. Every day in the gym I'm getting better. I think as I'm getting lighter, I'm feeling sharper, stronger. Just got a great boxing brain. Great box man, hard to hit. Got fast hands, and he lets his hands go. Very tough. If by any chance there was a shot, this is a shot to me anyway, and I did get beat. It just make me work even harder. But uh, I'm not going to get beat, I know I'm not. I feel like there's a lot of levels between me and Sam. Maybe he doesn't punch harder than me. But he gets hit a lot more than me. Not as clever as me, not as fast as me. And I don't think he'll be as fit as me. Sam doesn't love training like some people do, but he does every inch he has to. And when he hits someone, he hurts them, and he's not afraid. You know, he's genuinely quite fearless in the ring. He's not going to be fighting in his 30s. Sam gets hit far too much for that. He has too many, too many wars for that. Unless he really, really does change. But I remember speaking to someone in his gym, and I said, I've tried to change him. It's not going to work. I just had to add little things to him. He's one of them people who loves the fight, doesn't mind getting hit. I've seen him get hit, he smiles and that. But you can only do that for so long. He didn't beat Brook. He didn't beat Bundy. That was, you know, he, he did clear up at British level. You've got to give him that. And, you know, he's, he's, a good, he's a good kid. But, you know, he went to European level. Although Bundy is a good kid, he didn't win. Yeah, he can have a tail off, he can have a fight. He can box a little bit. He showed against Glenn Foot. Glenn Foot, Frankie Gavin, two different operators. I don't want to say what level he is, but he didn't win the European title, so you've got to put him where, where, where he was best. I honestly think I'll stop him quite late on. I don't know how it's going to go. I keep winning from ahead loads of different ways. I keep winning.